Hi, I'm Sharon Whitney, the Head of English at St John's. While all students must choose English in Year 11 for both semesters, and most students choose it in Year 12, there are some choices to be made to determine which subject will be best for your child. All students must choose English in Year 11 to meet the literacy requirement of SACE. With Essential English, this will be recommended by your student's teacher, and it's an option for students who need additional support. They'll create two creative and two analytical tasks each semester, no task exceeding 800 words or five minutes, and both written and oral tasks focus on social and vocational interactions. This course prepares students for Year 12 Essential English. Year 11 English is often known as General English, and all students must successfully complete two semesters of this. Our Stage 1 English course covers novel and film studies as well as an intertextual study where students have the opportunity to, to compare texts of their choice, demonstrating their understanding of the author's craft. Creative tasks continue to be a feature of this course and the highlight is contributing a text to the Year 11 Literary Magazine, a publication that goes out to all Year 11 students. Throughout the course, students will have several opportunities to choose their own text to write or study and this course prepares students for Year 12 English. Another option at Year 11 is English Literary Studies, and this takes a much more traditional look at literature with a heavy focus on the author's craft in poetry, drama, and novel studies. Authors that are studied may include William Shakespeare, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Sylvia Plath. While students will also create a text for the Year 11 magazine, there is a significant emphasis on analysis in this course, and they'll also have the opportunity to explore critical perspectives where they view texts through a different lens, such as a feminist or historical lens. Each semester has a 100 minute examination where students will answer questions on an unseen text, and students who choose this subject should be achieving a B plus or higher in Year 10. This course prepares students for Stage 2 English Literary Studies or Stage 2 English. The big question for students is which one should they do? So each subject is aimed at preparing students for their respective Stage 2 course. So therefore, English tends to have a greater creative focus while Literary Studies requires more analytical skills. It's also worth noting that English Literary Studies is more demanding and requires a higher skill level in both written expression and knowledge, while English is less demanding. Year 10 teachers are a great source to discuss the best option for each student. On the whole, though, we recommend that if a student is really torn between the two, try out English Literary Studies because it's much easier to drop down to English going into Year 12 if it's not what the student is interested in. Year 12 English Essential English follows on from Year 11 Essential English and this allows students to study and create shorter, compelling texts. Each course is designed around the needs of that particular English Essential English class and their interests. Tasks are creative and analytical and plus students have the opportunity to advocate for a group that needs its voice heard. Finally, the external component of this course requires students to write a 2000 word report on how language is used by a group of their choice. There is no examination in this subject. Students enjoyed this course because of its real world application. Year 12 English is not compulsory in South Australia, but students who wish to study it interstate must do Year 12 English or Year 12 English Literary Studies at Stage 2. In English, it has three core units. In responding to texts, students will complete three assessments, typically studying uh, shared texts such as novel, film or drama. In the creating text unit, students will complete three tasks based around different purposes, such as writing narratives, scripts or articles. Plus, they'll also create a writer statement where they justify the creative choices they made in their earlier texts. Finally, the external component of the course requires students to write a 2000 word essay on two texts of their choice and teachers will guide students regarding appropriate text choice. There is no examination for this subject. We find our students really enjoy this course because of the variety of tasks and typically they have a little more class time to, to complete each task than the more demanding English literary studies. In English Lit, 
It focuses on analysing texts of literary merit. Students will study novel, poetry, film and drama and will complete an analytical task on each one. They will continue the studies on critical perspectives and will explore one text through psychological, feminist or historical lens. Students will also complete two creative tasks, one of which must be a transformative piece where they show their ability to take a literary novel, narrative or poem and reimagine it into a completely different text type. The external component of the course is split between two tasks, an essay and an examination. The essay allows students to choose their own text and compare it to a novel, film, play or poet that we have already studied in class. The teacher will guide students with this choice. Students are also required to complete a 100 minute external examination in November where they'll be given one or more unseen texts and will need to answer several short answer questions. They'll practice their exam techniques throughout the year when they'll be given a range of past examinations to practice on. Students also enjoy the analytical aspect of the course and being able to, to, to discuss texts with a strong literary focus. Again, the big question, which one, English or English Literary Studies? Both of these courses require hard work from students who wish to achieve at the highest level. And then both courses will allow students to develop their written creative and analytical skills. However, the standard is significantly higher in English Literary Studies, where students must show greater sophistication in both their writing and their understanding of ideas and literary techniques. As such, students who, enjoy, who consider English Literary Studies in Year 12 should be achieving strong results in Year 11, so a very strong B, preferably in the A range. Class teachers can assist with this decision. But remember, whichever subject you choose, enjoy. It's a fantastic experience for all our students. Thanks.